Hello, and welcome to our video exploring the significance of Peter Bokschroeder's photographs taken in Moscow in 1956. This is visual independence. At a time of intense political tension between the East and West, Bokschroeder made history as the first West German photojournalist to be granted permission to work in the Soviet Union. Today, his photographs are an impressive retrospective of life in Moscow in the mid-20th century. They aim to encourage international understanding, communication and mutual acceptance. To fully appreciate the significance of Bokschroeder's photographs, it is important to understand the historical context in which they were taken. In 1956, the world was in the midst of the Cold War, a period of intense competition and tension between the Western powers and the Soviet Union. This rivalry was played out in a number of ways, including the arms race, proxy wars, and propaganda campaigns. Foreign journalists were rarely granted access. The Soviet government heavily censored the information that could be reported. This made it difficult for the outside world to get an accurate picture of life in the USSR. Against this backdrop, Bokschroeder's photographs offer a unique insight into the lives of ordinary people in Moscow. He captured everyday scenes showing people carrying out their daily lives, at work, enjoying social activities and in their leisure time. Bokschroeder's photographs enable a differentiated view of Moscow and the people of the Soviet Union and thus offer a counterpoint to the official propaganda. They challenge the simplifying stereotypes propagated during the Cold War era. We are reminded that behind the rhetoric and bias, there were real people living real lives in a city like Moscow and that these people were just as diverse and complex as people anywhere else in the world. Understanding this context allows us to better place Bokschroeder's photographs, which were taken during one of the pivotal phases in world history. Bokschroeder's pictures of everyday life in Moscow challenged the cliché of the Soviet Union as a monolithic and oppressive state. Instead, they reveal a more nuanced and personal perspective. We are reminded that the people who lived in the Soviet Union were not faceless adversaries, but rather individuals with their own hopes, fears, and aspirations. One of the striking aspects of Bokschroeder's photographs is their depiction of the beauty of Moscow and the way in which they capture the everyday lives of Muscovites. The capital is shown in all its grandeur, with its magnificent architecture, wide boulevards, and bustling streets. The images convey a sense of vitality and energy, capturing a city that is both heritage and progressive. From the ornate domes of St. Basil's Cathedral to the sleek modernist buildings of Stalinist architecture, these rare photographs give an insight into the rhythm and routine and reveal the unique character of the Soviet metropolis with its distinctive blend of Eastern and Western influences. Bokschroeder's photographs provide an insight into the social and cultural life of Moscow in the 1950s and convey a realistic picture of cultural vitality as well as the prominence of the arts in Soviet society. Bokschroeder's photographs illustrate the role of propaganda and ideology in the USSR. We see images of billboards and posters promoting the achievements of the Soviet state, as well as images of military parades and demonstrations of Soviet force. They remind us of the role that ideology played in shaping the lives of Russians during the Cold War era. It is important to note that Bokschroeder's photographs reflect the realities of censorship in the Soviet Union at the time. As a foreign journalist, he was subject to strict controls on what he could photograph. And yet, with his powerful and moving captures, he succeeded in documenting the diversity and multifaceted nature of Soviet life. This raises an important question about the role of photography in shaping public opinion and understanding. How do we navigate the complexities of censorship and propaganda in our media landscape? What responsibility do photographers and journalists have to present a balanced and nuanced view of the world? Bokschroeder's photographs can help us to think more deeply about these questions. By showcasing the beauty and diversity of Moscow, while also acknowledging the realities of censorship and control, they offer a starting point for a wider discussion about the role of photojournalism in shaping our understanding of the world. Finally, 
we come to the significance of Bachschroeder's photographs as a tool for promoting international understanding, communication, and mutual respect. By examining the value and relevance of these images from a variety of perspectives, we gain a deeper appreciation for the ways in which art, culture, and diplomacy intersect. Bachschroeder's photo documentation impressively promotes empathy, respect and understanding across national and cultural borders. One of the most notable qualities of Bachschroeder's work is his ability to capture the essence of a place, and a moment in time. He was a master at composition, and subject matter, to convey a sense of mood, atmosphere, and emotion. Bachschroeder's photographs offer a powerful reminder of the importance of bearing witness to history. As a photo reporter, he was able to document the social and cultural life of Moscow at a time when few outsiders were granted access to the Soviet Union. His images serve as a powerful reminder of the importance of preserving and sharing historical records, and of the vital role that artists and cultural ambassadors can play in this process. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to Visual Independence.